Welcome one and all to a brand new series on the channel. This is Road to Kerbin and I have no idea where I am apart from the fact it's called Road. So you find me in the mission control because, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out if somebody knows anything and uh, they've got some missions. So I'm just going to take these. I'm going to explain what's going on once we get started. So we're going to leave the launch pad and what's this reach for the stars? Suborbital. Oh, that gets me something. That gets me something. Do science gets me something. I'm going to do reach for the stars for suborbital trajectory because that looks good. All right. Let's get to the space plane hangar and see what we've actually got. Not space plane hangar. The VAB. Let's go to the VAB. Right, so we're in the VAB and we're going to put together a craft and while we are, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this series. So, this series, the main aim of it is um, I'm on a planet called Road and I have no idea anything about it. I've, I've not read up on the mod pack, I've not looked at any of the um, the descriptions on, 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 on Delta V maps, I've not looked at anything like that. And I've got some other mods on. So. This is the Beyond, Beyond Home uh, pack. Um, I've also got Parallax, which gives us a lovely sort of ground scatter and things like that. I've got Eve for the atmosphere and the clouds, Scatterer for the light. I was going to put in um, research bodies because I really wanted to try and like learn as you would to actually learn planet by planet and understand what's going on. However, slight problem, um, it doesn't play well with anything. So I have some other mods installed. The big one is, um, we're going probes before crew, which means I don't have any crew and I'm going to have to figure out how stuff's going on. I also have Ferrum, so I have to obey, obey the laws of Ferrum, which is uh, great. And this craft does not obey the laws of Ferrum, so I have to fix that. Um, what else have I got? I'll talk to you about more of them as we go through. But primarily what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and play this series um, as a sort of science learny sort of series. So I am going to try and do some science as we go along. Um, and the first one is, in this episode, we're gonna have to learn a bit about the planet. Um, and I'm not just going to look on the screen and figure out what things are and stuff like that. We're actually going to, um, we're going to science it a little bit, I think. Right, so we've got Ferrum, we've got a rocket here. Um, I need to put some stuff on it, but what I'm actually going to do is to try and stabilize it because I know what Ferrum's like. I don't know what the atmosphere here is like. I don't know where what the what the altitudes are for space and things like that. But I'm going to just tilt my fins ever so slightly to give myself a little spin because I want to spin a bit. I'm going to try and spin and stabilize this. I haven't done this for years. I used to do it on on realism overhaul with RP1 and things like that because you had unguided sounding rockets at the very start. Um, this is sort of guided. I don't guess we don't have gimbling and we don't have flaps that move, I don't think. So what else do I need? Well, I need some science. Um, now, we are playing with Kerbalism, so science takes time, which is annoying, um, but it stops me from just science spamming, which is good. So we've got that there, but we're going to put that in the middle in a minute. We're going to need an antenna because I need to transmit stuff. I don't like that one. Let's go with this one. I'm going to stick you on that side, but I'm going to rotate you so you point upwards. Right. Got to remember with Kerbalism to turn on your science because I do not have action groups at the moment and that is going to cause me problems, particularly when I do the following. I'm going to go on an absolute, I'm going to straighten that up and then we're going to plop it right in the middle. There we go. Stick its nose out the top so it can realistically get the temperature. And then we're going to take our this and we're going to move that to there. And we're also going to check that it is actually straight as well because that's a common problem for these things. So there you go. That looks like our first rocket and I am worried that it's not going to work. But let's let's go with that. So um, let's take it to the launch pad. I'll see you there. Right, so we're on the launch pad and I have to go quick here because um, our battery is going to run out. Yeah, it's going to run out. I suppose I could sit here for a while. I just have a task. Um, anyway, let's launch. So one of the other mods I have on is Waterfall for the beautiful little um, little uh, little thrusty thrusty flames there, which is lovely. And this actually is going very fast. I may I should have probably slowed down the burn on this because if this atmosphere is thick, which I don't know if it is or not, it's going to burn up like anything. Um, We've also got, and you'll notice we, the, the, all the parts look a bit different. That's because we're using a restock and restock plus. I've never really used restock and restock. Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. Plus before. Oh, that was good. What altitude are we at? Okay, so we're going to go to about, oh, it's slowing down. This atmosphere is thick, isn't it? That is slowing down really. I suppose maybe we're tumbling at a funny angle, but. Okay, so that's 30, 29. 
Is that is that good enough? Is that good enough to get me anywhere? We've definitely launched. We've definitely got our first on what is first vessel speed records. Lovely. We've left the launch pad and we've got some sciencey stuff. Am I getting any other science? Are we transmitting? That is important. So how do I do that? To click on it. No. Kerbal is a Kerbalism is a thing that I'm still learning. So we do that and we click there and it says I've got a lot of science that I'm trying to transmit. But it's not doing it very quickly because there's lots of stuff to do. Okay. Oh, lots of bits, tiny bits of science. Tiny bits of science. What are you doing? How long is that going to take? Am I out of energy yet? We're going to be. Are we going to get now? Where are we? We're in the up. Oh, this is upper atmosphere. Okay. That's nice. Planet looks nice, actually. I, I've, not, I've, not, I've not seen anything about it before, so it's very hilly. It's quite curved as well. Unless we're not that high up. I don't think Kerbin looks this, this big normally. Ooh, what are you? That's big. That is definitely bigger than the moon is. And it's definitely bigger than the moon is. It's a moon of some sort. Look at... This is very small and that's very big. Am I on a moon? Is that another... Is that a planet? And I'm on... A, or is this a binary... Can you get binary planet systems? I don't know if you can. I suppose you could get binary star systems. Probably get ripped apart a bit. But anyway. Maybe we're on a moon. Whatever it is, that's big, and it looks like it has an atmosphere. And I suppose this has got an atmosphere. Right. Oh, and we're out of power, so let's just fall back through the floor. And there's water. Oh, we've got water. We've got sea there. That's nice. So where's the base? Um, I have knocked off other launch sites. Um, so we only have one launch site with one. Oh, no, please not straight back on top. I don't want to die. I don't, don't hit anything. I don't even know what the spin of this planet is. I don't even know which way around it spins or anything like that. I know nothing about this planet other than it's very nice hills and it's weird two-dimensional cloud layer with other clouds on top, it looks. Yeah, it's got like a 2D cloud layer and then it's got <coughs> clouds that are heave, obviously. This ground is lovely, isn't it? Uh, we'll just, uh, we don't think we need to go at full speed into the ground there. So, right. I think that was a success, although I would have liked to have gone higher. I might have liked to maybe hit space. Oh, we go. Um, oh, bits of us survived. No, no, they didn't. Oh, no, no, they didn't. Okay, right. Onwards and upwards. Right, after our wonderful exploits last time, we got 2.9 science back. Unfortunately, you need five to get your first node. And I don't have any Kerbals, and I'm thinking I'll just do the same experiment again. So this, this next task is altitude above above 1800, uh, 18,000 meters, which is, I think we did that. Yeah, we got over 20, so we could use the same craft, do this, gets two, that takes us to there, and then we get some transmission on the way there, we'll do that. I could do some, oh, I can't because I'm full, because I still haven't done this reach for the stars, because that's suborbital. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Uh, orbit road, right. Okay, let's go, let's go suborbital. Right, let's maybe tweak this craft. A little bit and then I'll meet you at the launch pad I think in fact let's just meet you at the launch pad right we are at the launch pad again we're going up straight away so this is Genesis 2 and I have changed one tiny thing we have changed the 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 thrust on the rocket so it's now been dropped to about 70% so that may help a little bit because we're gonna burn a little bit longer and hopefully we're gonna burn later when we're in less thick air and it might allow us to go a little bit higher, I think. I think maybe the spin is a bit too extreme as well because that is really, really spinning staggeringly fast. So we're now going up about over, over 30. So we got to this point last time and then it started tumbling and I think it's the spin. I think there's too much spin. I think we need to slow down the spin a little bit. We're still burning and we're gonna get up to 50, 50. Okay, now we're slowing down again. So we're gonna be below 50. We're gonna be below 40. We're in the upper atmosphere. So we completed that task. Wonderful, superb. We're gonna get some science. So what we can actually do is just speed this up because we don't need to worry too much about it. I don't need to <clears throat> make you watch too much of this. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. Do, 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 do. Unless of course we get to space. Actually, that's a good point. Space could start at like 35, because this is this is very. If this is 30, if it's 35, we're on a moon. <clears throat> it's not 35. It could be 40. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's wobbling. But this is it. Maybe my eyes, or is there something else on the top of there? Is it? Is it like a, a lump? Mm. Anyway, is it round? Maybe. Mm. Yes. I I'm starting to think we might be on a moon. 
I'm sure there's a mod pack that actually had you starting on a moon at some point. Anybody knows, please mention down below, put it in the comments, whatever, um, what that mod pack was. I cannot remember. So we're just going to, right, we're going to speed this up extreme speed now. So we're up to 38. We're out of power. So we're just dead in the water. We're just going to fall back down. Have we finished any other things? No. Right, let's have a look. We're out of that. That's done. Reach for the stars. So I still need to get suborbital, and that's going to give me four science, which is enough for almost another node of the first two, which would be really nice. We're definitely falling. Now, if I was clever, I would actually calculate the uh, the rate of acceleration downwards based on my craft, and I could actually calculate gravity. But um, I'm not going to do that yet. In fact, once we crash down, I'm going to do some science on just how big this planet is, because this is this curvature is interesting. Now, I'm not just going to tell you what it is. I'm actually going to show you how you could work it out. Um, and on this first, for sciencing, um, I'm going to go back to ancient Greece, I think, and actually look at how they figured out how the Earth was the size it is. But first, we've got to destroy this craft, and we've got to hope that this one doesn't hit. Oh, look, it's spinning downwards. Nice. It's stabilizing itself downwards at an angle. That's odd. Right. So, let's go do some science. Just after we do this bit of science. Yeah. Right. Oh, are they going to survive? Are we going to survive? Are we going to survive? Uh, no. Right. Let's do science. Right. Thank you, past me. So we know we've got a star and we've got road. And we're going to use the idea of Aristophanes, who's a Greek mathematician. He said, what we're going to do is we're going to put a marker in the ground on the equator. That marker will have no shadow at midday. We're going to put another marker north of it, about 50 kilometers north. We know that sunlight travels in a straight line from the star. The shadow that it makes, okay, will produce an angle. That angle will allow us to calculate the angle between those two posts on the surface of the Earth, which means we can figure out what percentage of the arc is actually covered by our 50 kilometer distance. So we can actually take this, we can do some maths. So the angle of shadow that we get on road when we're 50 kilometers apart is 6.37. We know the circumference of a circle is equal to the distance divided by the arc or what percentage of it is times 360. So we know we've got a circumference of about 2,827 kilometers. We take that circumference and we can use that to figure out the radius, which we think should be 450 kilometers, which means the diameter of the planet is 900 kilometers, which is not much, but we can use that at least for something, can't we? Right, thank you past me, future me, for the science bit. We now know how big the planet is, which is going to be useful once we actually get into orbit, I think. So, first of all, we're going to look at some new missions, but I want to actually upgrade mission control because I want to get more missions. It's going to cost me a lot of money. Probably shouldn't have done it, but anyway. We're going to get the enter into space because we want to try a good suborbital, so getting into space is a good start for that. And I'm also going to take this decoupler at the launch site. I quite like that. And is there anything else that we can have? How many things we got? Above road. Do, 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 do. Right. Ah, liquid fuel engine at the launch site. Oh, do I have fuel tanks? I don't have fuel tanks, do I? Oh, no, I do. I've got science. We can get some stuff for science. All right. Let's get that. Let's get on with some science. Right. In the for science section, we can get ourselves some, some, some decouplers and things. But we've got one of those we can use on this next flight. And what else have we got? We can have we could have engines and we got one of those, but actually, yeah, engines are gonna be useful because I can get electricity from engines. Right, there we go. All right, let's go build a craft. I'll be right back. Right, I've put together a craft here and it is basically a stack of small fuel tanks. The swivel engine, which we're supposed to be testing at liftoff. We've got the decoupler at the bottom we're testing on the launch pad sort of thing. Standard probe, we put more transmitters on there because we can get electric from this, this liquid fuel engine and also some batteries, so we've got more batteries wonderful right let's launch this thing and be quick about it right we're on the launch pad i really don't want to fall over so we're just going to uh, get going straight away there we go and um, we're going to just head straight up i think we could we could turn but i just want to go straight up and we're going to just slow down our thrust just a little bit we have got gimbling on this engine so that's good but we want to just, uh, we want to mosey on up there, not too much. We've got loads of fuel on this. I've probably overdone it, actually, because this looks like it's a small planet. Well, we know it's a small planet. It's, it's you know, we've, we've done the maths. We now know how big the planet is. Um, please, you know, please, I hope you watched that and you understand. Um, right, so let's see, we've done that. Good, that, good, that. We completed those contracts. We've got money and science for that. So what's my science level at now? Okay, a little bit more. 
to one a bit more and I can actually get uh, I can get the other node that's five science and that'd be good right we're up and up and up and we've got oodles of time so what's my target my target I think was seven seventy thousand ah so that must be space then space is 70 so it's the same as Kerbal Kerbin oh look the lump has turned into another circle so is that another <gasps> maybe that's another moon maybe we're a moon that's a moon and that's a planet or we're a planet that's a planet that's a moon I don't know oh that's a moon could be a, a really massive moon I mean Earth's moon is significantly larger than on average for its size because of how it was formed but we won't get into that maybe we'll do that in another for science in another episode so we're going up now now do I try and go for orbit I think this craft is capable um but let's just let's not actually let's uh there is a mission which is orbit isn't there have I actually got the orbit mission enter into space I have the enter into space so I've got to reach 70 so once I've done that I'm done I don't want to jump ahead and oh I've got a strategy I've got strategy or whatever it's called as a thing so I can now do local science that can be an aim for me I must look in that at some point maybe in the next episode so let's just oh, we're in space we we must be in space because I've got speed yuppie aha right you know what we're going to do we're going to try and come straight back down that's clever that's a clever I wonder if I could land it right let's just see if we can land it that would be so cool just get a little bit of tiny bit of thrust because I want to make sure I don't run out of power I've got loads of power so we know that these batteries will actually last for ages with that amount oh and of course as we come back through the planet's atmosphere we can get more science and we can keep transmitting that's brilliant so I'm actually I'm helping myself out there so let's have a look what I really want to do is actually pump fuel from the top to the bottom to make the bottom heavier so we want all the fuel coming from the bottom tanks I could have set this up better actually couldn't I if I was planning to do this um, ooh. let's slow down a bit because it's uh, oh it's very very fast actually um, are we going to slow down quickly enough I don't know I don't know probably possibly we've got a lot of thrust actually yeah we've got loads just to do that Bring me back, bring me back, bring me back. So what I want to do is just slow it down. Like to about here. So I want to actually just take off all my vertical. But that's not going to happen, is it? And I'm at a funny angle. I do think the launch site isn't straight, actually. Normally, you know, launching to one side. Or maybe my craft isn't straight. I don't know. That's interesting, we're actually now, if I had a better core, I'd actually just target that and do a proper landing, but I'm actually having difficulty orientating even. So we'll just pop it to there. We're just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna let it go. Let it go. There's a song there, I can't sing though. I'm not allowed to sing that because that would, first of all, be terrible for you lot. Second of all, would probably get me copyright strike so we're down to 900 meters I think we're just gonna burst the engines now all right oh go on oh, those are nice can we just do it a little oh did I hit a tree did I seriously hit a tree I'm in a tree we survived in a tree wow well, that's cool. I think we have to end the episode there, don't we? Right, so on that bombshell, as I roll down. Until next episode, have a great one.